effing cry. Peace. From Time Life Music comes a one-of-a-kind Rat Pack collection, their most bigoted songs. All your favorite once acceptable hits like Say it is Chinaman way, a ding a ling a ching a chong a ching a chong choo. Phew, stinky Frenchman. Paris is lovely and Nice sure is nice. And Marseille is charming with champagne on ice. But you stinky Frenchman haven't a clue. Pew, stinky Frenchman, frog you. He's space. It just reminds me that Cleveland's not here anymore. Yeah, it's just not the same without him. I sure wish he... Hey, guys, look. It's him. Hey, Cleveland. Why didn't you tell us you were back, buddy? Oh, that's a lamp. You know, guys, I've been thinking. We need a new fourth guy for our group. We're a... Charms! <laughs> How's your friend search going? Eh, not great, Lois. What friend search? Oh, we're just trying to find a friend to replace Cleveland. We've been meeting people for the past three days. Well, you don't need to look for somebody new. I'll hang out with you guys. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's going to work out, Brian, because of the whole quagmire thing. What quag sweater <laughs> and a haircut? Ah, who would have thought it would be this hard to replace Cleveland? You know, guys, we've kind of been ignoring the obvious here. I mean, if you really break it down, what we need is a black guy. Yeah, that was the best thing about Cleveland. Oh, by far. I sure do miss him. Peter's right. We gotta find another black guy. Yeah. Some sorry ass fools in need of a mother loving fourth. I'll join your darts game. How do we know you're any good? Gentlemen, we got us a black man. Thanks for the lift home, Jerome. Hey, if you got time to come in, I'd love for you to meet my wife. I got time for whatever I want, fool. My watch don't tell time. I tell it. Wow, you're cooler than a York peppermint patty. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation... Of being on a, being on a frozen mountaintop! <laughs> hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois. What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Long time ago. Hey, that's a beautiful baby. Mind if I hold him? <laughs> Go right ahead. Hey there, little fella. What's that around your neck? Well, I say it's a little black Jesus. Ah! Jesus! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Ah! It was really good to see you dating that guy. It's just a lot to take in. Oh, yeah. You're, <laughs> you're telling me. Oh, come on. Those kinds of jokes aren't helping. W what do you want me to say? You're being silly. I mean, Jerome and I dated over 12 inches ago. <laughs> I said inches. What did I just say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, look, just relax. You're my husband, and I love you. Did him, and that's what made him fall down that hill. Oh, oh, seeing him fall down that hill put me in a good humor. So we get lost. What are you doing just standing out here? I'm waiting for Quagmire to get his mail. I'm going to conveniently stroll by and strike up a conversation with him and maybe find out why he hates me. Oh, I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. You'll smooth it over. Want to make fun of him, too? Where is she? She's not here. Get out, Jeff! Just get out of here! Oh, I'll get out when I'm finished. No! You feel good about your sex joke earlier, Brian? He's savagely beating her again, you hear that? Yeah, I'm not deaf. Oh, oh, what, like my brother? I'm gonna order me some cheap cognac and put it in a fancy glass. Boy, Jerome is the greatest. We really lucked out. I don't know, you guys. I'm not so sure about Jerome. I, I mean, how do we know we can really trust him? What are you talking about, Peter? Jerome's awesome. Yeah, why the hell wouldn't we be able to trust him? All right, you guys want the truth? 
Before me and Lois were married, our new friend used to slip at the old Pringles can. That son of a bitch. Thinks he can sleep with my wife? Not on my watch. Listen, I don't care that you're dating Mallory. Nobody in this family likes you, Nick. You just stand your ground, garbage sculpture man. They'll come to respect you. You bastard. Nick was no good for her, and it broke Skippy Handelman. What the... Uh... What, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, Peter, something terrible's happened. Somebody burned down Jerome's house last night. This whacked out world. It just makes you want to grab your nephew and get in a van and shoot people in the D.C. area. Yeah, well, when I find the guy who did it, I'm going to rip his arms off and do his wife in front of him. And no one would... I have to wait. How long is Jerome going to be staying with us, Dad? I don't know, Chris, but the sooner he's out of here, the better. I don't trust him around Lois for a second. Oh, God, Jerome, that is so good. Oh, yeah, it's so hot and moist. Yes, and Jerome made scones. Would you like one? Oh, they're delicious. I thought maybe later today we could all... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God, Mom's choking! Out of the way. I'm an EMT. <coughs> Her airway's jammed. Come on now, just like that. <clears throat> Says the funniest person in the room. Hey, what are you getting all dressed up for? I'm treating Quagmire to a night out. Really? I thought he hated you. How'd you convince him to go? I tricked him, sent him a phony card. He thinks he's going on a date with an old girlfriend. But instead, you're going to show up. You got it. Yikes, that's a recite and we're going to have a great time. Brian, Cheryl was the one that got away. She was the great love of my life. I, I thought this was my chance to finally achieve some real happiness. Ever since she left, I've been chasing girls to fill the holes she made when she walked out. And now I'm forever lost. Well, I bet a thick, juicy steak could help fill that hole, huh? <laughs> that guy! It's been a long trip. You're tired. No, I hate him! Look, you're angry, you're dehydrated. Just have some water from the canteen and you'll feel better. <sighs> okay. I just totally drowned this anthill. Hey, when are we going to get there? Ah, and this is Peter and I at our wedding. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I have had about enough of you, Jerome. I know you want my wife, but you can't have it. You are no longer welcome in my house. What you talking about, Peter? <laughs> but you can't have sex with Lois. Now I want you out of here right now. I can't believe this. I thought I found a true friend in you. I'd never do anything to hurt you or your family. So, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? <laughs> hmm. God, look at the size of these steak knives. That's pretty much it. I mean, you want to learn more, read the papers, go on the internet, I, I don't know. Boy, that's got to be an interesting job. I bet you guys... How do those things work? What, planes? How does a plane work? Yeah. You want me to sit here and explain to you how a plane works? I don't know, yeah. You want to maybe just go? Quagmark, come on, I'm really trying hard here. Who asked you to try hard? No, you pay for nothing. You always say, ooh, I'll get you later, but later never comes. And what really bothers me is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. I don't buy them a copy of Catcher in the Rye and then lecture them with some seventh grade interpretation of how Holden Caulfield is some profound intellectual. He wasn't. He was a spoiled brat. Time to help. I work down at the soup kitchen, Brian. Never seen you down there. You want to help? Grab a ladle. And by the way, driving a Prius doesn't make you Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, wait, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. Well, who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never see? But you know what? I could forgive all... Lois? Peter, sometimes you just make me sick to my stomach. Look, I know you think Jerome was a good guy, but... No, he was a good guy, Peter, and I'm gonna prove it to you, and you're gonna feel like a real jackass. What's that? It's a gift for you. You don't deserve it, but if anything, it's gonna wake you up a little bit. Jerome got you this as a thank you for letting him- Enough to steal you away from me. You should know better than that, Peter. Now I think you have an apology to make.
Hey, you look like you could use a pal. Oh, hi, Peter. I'm really sorry, Jerome. We cool, Peter, we cool. But listen, there is something I gotta fess up to. While I was living with y'all, I had myself lots of nasty-ass sex with Meg. I don't care about that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Good night, Brian. Good night, Stewie. Oh, come on, man.